So it's a pleasure to introduce Makoto Azalon, who will speak on multi-branched surfaces in three manifolds. Oh, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm honored to be invited to speak in this conference. I'd like to thank the organizers, Roman Karasev and uh, Akari Skopenkov. I'm sorry uh, I couldn't go to Moscow. I look forward to the next opportunity. So uh, let's start. So, uh, this talk uh, is a partially joint work with uh, Kazuhi Mieto, Shosaku Matsuzaki, Mario Oida Munoz, Kai Shihada, Yuya Koda, and Koya Shimoka. The first, uh, let's consider graph as topological spaces. Uh, let V be a zero manifold. This is a, uh, uh, correspond to vertices. And E is a compact one manifold uh, such that uh, for each component, the boundary is non-empty. So this corresponds edges. And uh, we consider map uh, to from boundary E to B, and uh, we consider a uh, quotient map space, V union E, via this map. So for example, uh, we consider zero manifold for vertices and a uh, compact one manifold edges. And we consider uh, this map. Uh, I, uh, we want to generalize to this concept to two-dimensional case. So let B be a closed one manifold. Uh, this corresponds to branches. And S, uh, let B S, uh, compact orientable to manifold. So, uh, we assume the boundary is non-empty. This is called to, to be sectors, surface. And we consider a map, the boundary S to B, such that uh, for each component of the boundary S, uh, this selection of this map is a covering map. So this is a strong uh, condition. Covering. Sorry, Makoto. Uh, and, uh, sorry, uh, sorry uh, Makoto. Uh, it, uh, I noticed that some students are uh, joining our workshop. So maybe, maybe for their sake, you could explain that this covering map is just um, n-fold winding, right? Uh, of one circle onto another. Yes. So just a uh, winding map, mm, yes. So uh, another, <laughs> yes, okay. So we consider covering map. So for, for, for example, uh, this is a sector, the one uh, punctured sphere. And we consider this, in this case, a double covering map. So this circle maps to this circle to twice. Then uh, we consider quotient of space, B union S via this map, covering map. Identify this covering map. So we uh, call this object uh, multi branch surface. Okay. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, some um, natural generalization of a graph. Uh, for example, uh, closed non-orientable surface of cross-cap number H, Q 
It can be regarded as a much virtual surface. Uh, previous example, uh, let uh, S be a H punctured to the sphere, and B be a H, uh, H component, H circles, then we consider a covering map, a double cover map. So this circle winds uh, this circle twice. So uh, in this part, uh, we obtain a Mabius band. So uh, this marginal surface uh, can be expressed uh, graph, bipartite uh, graph, like this. Uh, we uh, uh, associate uh, each branch to the vertices and each sector to the vertex. And uh, we la uh, label uh, each part to the, to the vertex. Uh, this label means a genus of S. Okay. So we obtain a graph representation. Uh, much vaster surface is called uh, regular if uh, for any two components, C and C prime of boundaries, uh, such that uh, the image coincide, then uh, degrees, covering degree of uh, this distribution maps are same. So for example, uh, this circle and this circle map to this circle. So the covering degree is the same. And uh, this circle and this circle maps to this circle. But uh, this covering map, uh, uh, degree, covering degree is a three, and this covering degree, uh, uh, minus means uh, orientation, uh, reversing map. So for each branch, uh, covering degree is the uh, same. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, summarize uh, embeddability of uh, two dimensional CDW complex. Uh, it is known that uh, mega neighboring, any finite two dimensional CDW complex can be embedded in R5. And uh, much vast surface is a two-dimensional three-double complex. And the much vast surface can be embedded to R4. Uh, I think uh, this is proved uh, Gilman. And uh, uh, we did uh, after this fact. And a uh, regular much bus surface can be embedded 3D manifold, some uh, closed orientable 3D manifold. Uh, this is a more general result, uh, as proved labels, Brodsky and Skopenko. And uh, by all, any 3D manifold can be embedded in R5. So three my folder is at this feature. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we define a neighborhood of much virtual surface. Uh, let X be a regular much virtual surface. Uh, rotation at uh, each branch is a cyclic ordering of the sectors incident to the branch L. So uh, this means uh,
So for each branch L, uh, there is a sector. Uh, in this case, we are four sector incident to this branch. Uh, we consider this uh, rotation of this sector. And a rotation system is a set of rotations at branches. And next, uh, slope of a branch at a branch is a rotation, a rational number, or P over Q. This specifies an isotopy class of an essential loop in boundary NL. So we consider neighborhood and uh, Uh, in a, uh, essential loop on the boundary of NA. Uh, slope system of X is a set of slopes at the branches. Sorry, Makoto, how you define the oh, essential loop, the red essential loop? Mm. Uh, in my, how do you find? In my uh, imagination, there are several ones. Yes, uh, many, infinitely many. Uh, so um, in this case, uh, this number, Response uh, so uh, we consider um, the median and longitude. Mm -hmm. So P times median plus Q times longitude. So this number corresponds. Yeah. So in this case, uh, mm, uh, two, one over two. Yeah, so, it's clear how to define uh, numbers P and Q from the essential loop. But there are several essential loops. So which one you choose to define P and Q? Actually, Q is independent. I think Q is Q equals to the number of sheets uh, coming together at L, right? But what is P? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh. Mm. So, mm, yes. So we need to uh, specify uh, longitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So this means that. Uh, intersect one point. Mm -hmm. um, ah, M is the boundary of some of some standard disk, right? Yes. Uh, orthogonal to L, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Okay, so uh, by uh, to consider neighborhood, uh, we need a rotation system and slope system. Uh, rotation system rho and uh, slope system sigma uh, define a neighborhood, uh, nx uh, rho sigma. Uh, this is an uh, oriental compact three manifold uh, consisting solid to die. Uh, N L I and the products S I times I. And this is a sector cross I. Uh, let uh, script N X denote a set of all the neighborhood of X. Okay. 
we review uh, the definition of Higgard genus. Uh, for a closed orientable string manifold, uh, we define Higgard genus GM. This is defined as a minimal genus of a closed orientable surface M between M, which separates M into orientable, two, two orientable handle bodies. So for example, uh, this three manifold is decomposed into uh, two handle bodies, uh, genus two handle bodies, uh, genus three handle bodies. Uh, for uh, no um, the three manifold with a non-empty boundary, that's a compact oriented three manifold, uh, we need uh, compression bodies. Compression bodies means uh, handle bodies remove uh, standardly, standardly embedded uh, inside, standardly embedded handle bodies. Uh, remove. Uh, this is a compression. Uh, then uh, we can define uh, the embeddable genus. For a compact orientable three manifold N, we define the embeddable genus, e.g., N, as a minimal genus, minimal Higa genus of closed orientable three manifolds, in which and can be embedded. So we consider uh, embedding uh, to uh, closed orientable three manifold M. Then uh, we take a uh, Higard genus of M. Then we consider minimal genus. Uh, then, uh, for a compact oriented three manifold N, we obtain uh, embeddable genus of N is less than or equal to Higa genus of N. Uh, by using uh, embeddable genus, uh, we can define Minimum genus and maximum genus. Uh, for a regular match branch surface, we define the minimum genus and maximum genus. Uh, minimum genus of a regular match branch surface is defined as the minimum genus, embeddable genus of neighborhood, uh, where we consider all neighborhood of merge branch surface. And similarly, uh, maximum genus of regular merge branch surface X is defined as a mini maximum genus of embeddable genus of N, where we consider all neighborhood of merge branch surface. Merge branch surface. Then uh, we obtain uh, next upper bound. For a regular match branch surface, we obtain a maximum genus of X is less than Y equal to the number of uh, branch set plus the number of sector. Uh, moreover, uh, if for any branch, the covering degree is equal to one. Then the maximum genus is less than or equal to the number of sectors. Uh, in this proof of this theorem, uh, it is shown that X can be embedded in uh, connect sum of B length spaces and S, S2 times S1. So we need uh, for each branch range spaces and uh, for each sector uh, S2 times S1. So this gives a uh, Higard genus. 
B プラスです。あ、then, あ、ゆやこだ、レーザー、this question. あ、does any close oriental three m i l e fold contain a minimum genus embedding of some much larger surface? あ、this is a still option, open, interesting question. Then, uh, next, uh, for a regular much larger surface, x, we obtain this, uh, lower bounds. Uh, minimum genus of x is greater than or equal to the rank of first homology group of the, uh, the much larger surface minus, uh, maximum, uh, genus of boundary end. Where we consider all the neighborhood. Now we take, uh, the sum of the bound, uh, the sum of the genus of all, all component, all boundary component of n.、Uh, similarly, uh, maximum genus is greater than or equal to the rank of H1X minus minimum genus boundary. Then、uh, we obtain、uh, the next quarterly one.、Uh, if a regular multi b a s surface can be embedded in the three sphere, then we obtain this inequality.、Uh, to, uh, to obtain this inequality,、uh, we put Minimum genus is equal to zero. Then we obtain this c o l o r l Next, uh, we consider graph product. So we review, uh, minimum genus of a graph is defined as a minimum genus of a closed orientable surface in which G can be embedded. Uh, maximum genus of a graph is defined as a maximum genus of a closed oriental surface in which G can be emitted. And the complement consists open disks. So this is called a strong, strong emitting.、Uh, then we obtain a、uh, next cell then. For a graph G,、uh, we consider G times S1.、Uh, this is a much larger surface.、Uh, minimum genus of G times S1 is equal to twice times、uh, minimum genus of G. Graph. So,、uh, minimum genus and maximum genus is、uh, twice of Uh, minimum genus and maximum genus of the graph.、Uh, almost uh, this result、uh, is proved tonk on. And、uh, next. I want to change our next sheet.、Uh, second sheet. Okay. 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 Uh, next, uh, we consider minor and obstruction set.、Uh, we define、uh, the script M, the set of all regular match by surface, where、uh, we consider modulo homeomorphism.、Uh, for x, y, 
uh, in M, we denote X precedes Y. If X is obtained from Y by removing a sector or by contracting an annulus sector. I think uh, this is a natural uh, generalization of graph. Uh, we define an uh, equivalence relation on script M. Uh, X is equivalent to Y if uh, X precedes Y and Y precedes X. Uh, uh, we define a partial order as follows. This uh, set. Uh, this equivalence class X precedes Y. Uh, if there exists a final sequence X1, Xn, such that X1 is equivalent to X and Xn equivalent to Y. And X1 precedes, da, 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 precedes Xn. Uh, sorry, Makoto. Uh, could you give an example? of non-homeomorphic uh, equivalent uh, regular multi-branched surfaces. Okay. Uh, yes, I... May I... Uh, this... Uh, this... For example... Uh, Uh, we remove uh, locally open disk. We remove open disk, uh, this part. From what? From uh, three sphere or from two sphere? Uh, out in a sector. Uh, a sector. Some sector. And we remove two disk, two open disk. Okay. Ah. Sorry, what is a sector? Ah, ah uh -huh. very good. Uh, okay. Uh, in this case, uh, X places Y because uh, X is obtained. Uh, y places X because uh, we remove open disk, this part, then we obtain Y. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, X, uh, but uh, if we remove this part, uh, this uh, pair of parts, remove, we obtain X. So it, we obtain X, wow. this is Y. <laughs> so uh, let's say this is uh, some, we consider, um, uh, module homeomorphic. Mm -hmm. So okay. this means that if X is equivalent to Y, uh, then both X embeds into Y and vice versa. Is it correct or not? Sorry? X is equivalent to Y, then X embeds into Y and Y embeds into X. Is this correct or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct, I think. Uh, correct. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, yeah, um, uh, yes. The, uh, only this configure uh, is occur. In this case, only this case is occur. Thank you. I assume. Okay. Just. Uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we want some uh, term. Uh, we say that X is a minor of Y if X precedes Y. And uh, X is a proper minor if uh, X precedes Y and X is not equal to Y. 
subset P is a minor closed. If for any X belong to P, every minor of X belong to P. And uh, for a minor closed set P, we define the obstruction set omega P by all elements X such that uh, X does not belong to P and every proper minor of X belongs to P. Uh, the set of much vaster surface embeddable into the three sphere denoted by uh, PS3 is minor closed. Okay. Uh, other, we want to consider the generalization of Kratowski's and Wagner theory, namely uh, this problem. Uh, we want to characterize the obstruction set omega P S3. Uh, in here, uh, I summarize all the known results on omega P3, P S3. The following multiple surface belong to omega P3. The first one, uh, K5 times S1 and K33 times S1. This is proves Mikhail Skopenko. And uh, all the much, much larger surface of the forms X1, X2, X3. I want to explain X1, X2, X3 uh, after. Next, uh, XG, uh, P1, da, 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 Pn, is also equal to omega, is S. Uh, first one was proved by Mikhail Skop Skopenkov. And, uh, but uh, it also follows uh, Seldem 4 and Kratowski's Wagner Seldem. Uh, let X1 be a much larger surface with a graph representation as this figure. So we consider a genus G compact surface uh, with a N boundary component. And this epsilon denotes a covering degree. Uh, where epsilon i is equal to plus minus p. And the abstract, abstract value, the summation epsilon i is greater than one. This means uh, this much of a surface has a torsion. Then uh, x1 belongs to omega p s3. Uh, sorry, Makoto, what is B small? Sorry? What is B small in this description? Uh, eh, is there only uh, one uh, X1 or many X1s depending on P? Mm. Eh, P means uh, some uh, positive integer. Yeah, but is it fixed in this construction or we can take different P's and update different X1s? Uh, fixed, fixed, fixed integer. Does X1 depend on P? Mm. Yes, but... Uh, uh, we can consider any integer. But then there are many, uh, there are many X1s. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, thank you. Some, uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, next, uh, we consider X2. Uh, we consider this graph representation, representation of X2. Uh, in this case, uh, 
we consider n sectors. So this sector has a genus G1 and genus G2. And uh, we consider n is greater than y equal to 3. And we omit covering degree. All covering degrees are 1. Then uh, this much vanilla surface belong to omega p s3. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let x3 uh, has a graph, graph representation of x3. Uh, we consider n sectors. And uh, this sector has a k1 plus 1 boundary component. Okay. And this covering degree is equal to minus one. Ah, yes. Orientation of reversing. And we uh, assume uh, n is greater than or equal to, and ki greater than or equal to one. And thus, k1, k2, k3, that the kn is greater than or equal to three. Then uh, this much surface has a torsion and x3 bring to omega p s3. Okay, uh, finally, uh, let xgn p1 that the pn. So we consider uh, genus g sector, one sector, and n boundary component. Oh, sorry. N boundary component. So this component has a covering degree P1, and this component covering degree P2. And uh, we consider the greatest common divisor uh, P1, that is Pn. Let uh, P. And we assume P is greater than 1. Then uh, this much vanilla surface belong to omega p s3. Okay, uh, I want stop here. Thank you, Makoto. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Maybe to warm up, I, I would ask a question. Uh, Makoto, can you give back the last theorem? Uh, sorry? Uh, can you uh, give back the slide containing the last theorem? Theorem four, okay. I suppose. Okay. That's it. So uh, that theorem is actually an analog of Kuratowski Wagner theorem. It states that there are uh, there is uh, an infinite collection of prohibited um, regular multi-branched surfaces for embeddings into S3. And I think it's not hard to prove that uh, they are non-embeddable. But I wonder how do you manage to prove that uh, this is, yeah, how do you manage to prove that if a regular multi-branched surface does not contain any of them, then it embeds into the three sphere. That's yes. uh, wonderful. Do you have a <laughs> characterization of um, those regular multi-branched surfaces which do not contain any of your prohibited things? Mm -hmm. Do you have such a characterization as an intermediate step of your proof or is it different? Mm -hmm. Well. I'm sorry, maybe this question mm. for a for longer discussion, then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any more questions? Um, then let, let me comment concerning theorem two. Uh, Makota, can you give back a slide uh, containing theorem two? 
Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's a theorem relating embeddability of uh, two-dimensional multi-branched surfaces to three sphere and genus of a graph. But there is a natural no- no- notion of a Z- Z mod two embedding of a graph to a surface. And Pavel Patak will make a talk on this notion later okay. on today. So I wonder if there is uh, a notion of Z mod two embedding of G times S1 to a, a three manifold. Right, so that these inequalities will generalize to Z mod two, no, uh, Z mod two genus on the right hand side and on the left left hand side. Mm-hmm. So you. So that's, that's rather a, that's a comment rather than a question. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't want to talk anymore. So you. You answer this question? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's no? a, a, a comment, a suggestion to generalize that result relating mm-hmm. uh, genus of a multi branched surface and genus of a graph and to mm-hmm. generalize them to Zimo 2 genus. And we can learn about Zimo 2 embeddings from a talk by Pavel Patak today. Uh-huh. You mean uh, result of Tokono? No, no. Mean, no? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> okay. There is a notion of Zimo to, em- Zimo to embedding and Zimo to genus, which will be which will be described in a talk by Pavel Patak. Any more questions? If not, let's thank the speaker. Mm-hmm.